Hello. Per popular request, here is a mediocre video of a DigiDesign Pro Control working with Pro Tools 11 or Pro Tools 12 or Pro Tools 2018 dot whatever version and so on. It actually works and it works pretty well. So I'll fire up a session. I'll show you here. Version 11.3.1 Pro Control is no longer offline. I'm not using new Pro Tools versions because I don't like subscriptions. I paid for this and it works fine. Let this load up a little bit here and open up a session and have a look. See how it works. Alright. All right, Pro Tool session up, Pro Control up. All the moving faders are snapping into place. They work really well, really sensitive. There's uh, the display, top and bottom. It's only four segments, I guess you would call, but that's because of the protocol that this is running through. Uh, so everything that I've used so far, you can adjust automation, uh, solo mute, select, record, this master section, press the tracks insert switch to edit and insert. You can adjust your plugins from the pro control, windows buttons, mix edit status, transport, plugin, memory location, save and undo work, uh, the scrub and shuttle wheel works. Um, bank select here. You can do groups of eight. Back and forth, I don't have that many channels. Or if you push the center button here, it illuminates and you can do a uh, track at a time. So that works. Really nice. Uh, what did I say? Automation, push and hold the button, you can change right, touch, latch. All from the Pro Control. Blurry video, handheld, cell phone crap. Pans work. My encoders are a little shaky. That's okay. Push the pan button, you can uh, adjust the right side of a stereo channel. Flip. I got an auxiliary channel here, working like very nice healing faders. Fortunately, I know how to fix these things. I know it's a big problem. People don't like to use these anymore because the faders are broken, but they're not really broken if you know what to do. So uh, response time, people were wondering about the response, so I'm going to hit play uh, here. Same as if I hit the space bar on my keyboard. No delay there. Perfect. The mouse here doesn't work. That doesn't do anything. Um, edit mode, shuffle, slip, spot, and grid. They all work. Same with this here. Grab tool, selection tool. There aren't corresponding LEDs that light up here when you do that, but that's okay. Um, part of this transport, loop record, loop playback, quick punch, they all work with illumination on the buttons. I guess loop record doesn't work. Uh, yeah, so there you have it. Pro Control, old school, works with new Pro Tools via the Huey protocol. I guess you can't complain about that. Pick them up while they're cheap.